All right, what up guys? So we get a lot of people that struggle with the actual movement of trying to accomplish like this, this drive leg, kind of this hip corkscrew position, right? Getting into that hip hinge and exploding linear down the mound. Um, it's not an easy move to accomplish. I myself struggle with this. I was um, kind of playing around with like certain progressions uh, or certain just kind of constraint settings that we can do to provide a window of opportunity for you to really feel that movement. Um, drills that I've kind of already done with like the reverse lunge into throw, the curtsy lunge into throw, kind of just presetting that. Another one um, that we could do is kind of preset this lead leg elevated in front of you and then basically just kind of sit right back into your drive leg, right? We want to actively engage your glutes here in your throw. So if we can preset that lead foot up like this, and then kind of just a simple like lean back and you'll actively feel that glute get engaged, right? So then we just kind of program a throw with that. So it's here and then boom and throw. So all we're trying to do is create a window for the athlete to feel that glute being engaged in the throw. And we just train that motor control pattern. So if we can kind of get that glute engaged, we rock back, boom, now we're in it, right? And now we go throw. We're just trying to create that motor control because we get a lot of athletes that have been moving a certain way, especially like guys that lack that pattern of glute hinge and they rely a lot on that quad dominance misdirection so now we're trying to instill that boom right that corkscrew boom 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 so if we can do that in a dry setting like me right here then it's another thing to do in your throw and that's why i like kind of something like this because you can kind of rock back into it so you preset that front foot rock back into it into it and then go throw it's tough training new patterns right so hopefully that drill progression makes sense and you can take some from it